Okay, you might have noticed we left the house in the dark, but we made it here to the mountain in the light. It is 7.24. We got an hour before it, the lift starts running. But check this out, guys. We got the whole parking lot pretty much empty. We're right up here by the front. And uh, we actually, we're at Atatash this morning and we're over at Bear Peak. This is an area that I actually didn't make it to uh, the last time I was at Atatash. I don't remember if it wasn't open or if I just didn't come over here. But this is where we parked and this is uh, uh, probably a better place to park. Uh, you don't have to cross the street to get to the mountain. Um, we're parked right here and uh, the lift is, well actually the lift's right over there but it's on the other side of this big snow bank here so. Alright, we're over at the uh, Bear Peak Lodge here, and um, we just went inside a little bit ago, checked it out, and um, looks like they got the fire roaring out here. Fire's roaring, but we're not the only ones that are getting out here to line up. We're all trying to get up there on that first chair. So let's get over here and... Clip in. Nice for signals. Sweet. Yeah. All right. So should be, should be pretty early anyway here. Pretty quick up. Okay, so we uh, made it up. We got like I don't know, probably seventh or eighth chair. And uh, we made it up to the top of Bear Peak. But basically, the majority of Bear Peak is closed because they're racing today. So we uh, decided rather than waste a couple runs over on Bear Peak this morning, we thought we'd come over here. We hopped right on the lift going straight to the top. Um, you know, we're not gonna get first tracks uh, on anything at this point. It's impossible. You'll get one run to get first tracks and we already had it and it was uh, taking the connector from Bear Peak to the main <laughs> peak, but that's okay. Um, the snow is pretty good today. It seems like it's going to be a nice day. It's already pretty busy here, and the mountain just barely open. But um, it's Saturday, so that's what you can expect. Go straight. Nice blue skies today. Good views. See, this is already all cut up. This was freshly groomed this morning. And it's already been scalped. I don't want to... Do we cut through there, you think? Or... Uh, Hall Street. Here we go. Curtis has some nice powder skis. I'm out here slalom style, so we're gonna take it a little bit slower. 
but nice and soft. Whew. Pretty soft. Well, as you can see, that was a pretty good powder run. Um, you know, just about as good. That's really the best you can ask for here in New England uh, for a powder run. It really, in my lifetime, I have not skied on much better um, than that. Especially so, the day after the storm. Right, the day after the storm. We're not here day of. Um, obviously it all got skied on yesterday too, so we were pretty happy with it and um, yeah, obviously I put the camera away because I wanted to ski it. I didn't want to, I didn't want to waste it on you guys. I don't, I, don't, I only get so many of those. I had to be a little bit selfish, but we're going up. We're going to take that same run again and then we'll uh, probably mix it up after that. We'll see what else we can find, but yeah, so far it's a good day. We're happy we got here early. Athena break in here in the lodge. But let's come take a look in here real quick. This part of the lodge, I didn't take you guys in before the last time I was here at Atatash, but I just thought it looked cool. All these chairs in here, these orange seats, and nobody was in here. I don't know, kind of, it looked cool to me. But right out there. That's the slopes we were just on, and we're actually gonna get on this uh, four-man chair here. Right when we get out, there was a uh, pretty sweet ungroomed trail that we just went down. And um, I'll take you guys on the trail, take the camera out, and put it on my pole for this next run, so you can see what we're talking about. You ready? Yeah. You're going first, or am I? Okay. A little bit of a rough entry there. Obviously not perfect. You can see all these little reeds sticking through here. Or this whole this whole edge along here, a bunch of reeds sticking through. But this is about as much fun on ungroomed, unmaintained snow as we can have here. It's obviously a lot more cut up now than it was the first couple of runs we took. Take you guys through it. Woo! Get your legs going. taking you guys back and forth across here because it's a little bit easier than hopping around but earlier when I wasn't filming I was making pole plants and hopping back and forth like a bunny kind of keep some nice short turns Whew. what do you think Curtis See how I what it looks like when I hold the camera. You want to hold it? Try to hold it. Film the rest. What do you not use these things? No, I never use. Do you hold it like up high, or do you? I hold it up high. That's why it's kind of angled. Recording. Yep.
me a workout. Come on. I wanted to try to get a few good turns in. It's uh, more tiring than it looks holding the camera. It hurts my shoulder, actually. <laughs> yeah, your whole... people on the hill and I'm trying to avoid them. Snowboarders are stopped everywhere. There's one snowboarder right here stopped on the trail and there's another snowboarder up ahead waiting for this person. They were together and I was going down. I was going to pass this other snowboarder and as soon as I went to pass them they started to turn and drop in on the trail. Right there you see him and I'm looking at him right now. He wasn't moving and just as I was about to pass him boom he starts turning. He wiped out and then I passed him, and luckily I had enough speed. I knew I was going to get by him. It wasn't going to be a problem. But yeah, as you hear me say right here. That was some risky business. Now we got to kind of tuck here. I 
over here I really wanted to uh, hit. Looks like they're doing some race training dead ahead, but luckily that's not where we wanted to go. We wanted to hit this little side trail here, and then we'll race over and meet up with Curtis over on there. But uh, yeah, this looks like a lot of fun right here. But also, I just saw a guy Yeah, looks like that's all race training business over there. We don't mess with that, but actually, this is what I was looking at. Still pretty soft. It's actually a little bit flat, so it's that's why the snow's still on it. But this is fun here. A little. Woo! Curtis, I'll follow you. Just got a friggin' ant hill here today and we're just waiting for our our turn really. But shouldn't have stopped. That's what you get for stopping. Don't yeah. stop on busy days. Great view though. Nice sunny, good view. Yeah, go for it.
unfortunately, I think that will take us back to Atatash. Guys, this trail is open. There's an opening over there. We're just entering from an unopened spot. Should I go first? My battery's about to die. Let me just go real quick. Uh, yeah, I really didn't have enough speed, but Just makes you appreciate those good runs we got in the morning. But yeah, it gets ugly pretty quick. Oh guys, it's starting to get busier here, but it's a nice sunny day, good day to hang out by the fire. But unfortunately, I actually have to uh, go to work this afternoon, so kind of packing it in a little bit early. 
a little bit of a shorter day than we were hoping to have, but it's okay. We got some really good runs in this morning, had a blast, and uh, yeah, on that note, we're uh, getting out of here, but look at that. You just saw us sitting there. We took off our skis, and boom, here we are back at the van. And you know, to be honest with you guys, I thought I had parked on the end of this pile, but apparently not close enough because people like to park right beside us, but that's okay. Fill in the space wherever you need it. But yeah, back to the van, we made it. Back inside the van. Time to get these boots off. Get my cowboy clompers on. I actually did bring a cooler with some stuff to cook burgers, but we uh, we were having a great time. We kept skiing and enjoying the run, and um, we ended up deciding, you know, maybe we'll uh, skip the cook today and we'll uh, get something at McDonald's on our way home. So we'll uh, catch you guys at Mickey D's. All right, well, yeah. You already know what it is, baby. Got a McDonald's. I kind of forgot about it. We were sitting there waiting for it for a minute, but. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what it is, but every time I go skiing, there's really nothing I want more than McDonald's. And um, probably not the best habit, but I like it. What can I say? Probably not gonna change anytime soon. Definitely not today, so. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.